So today's challenge, you guys are going to be shopping on a budget. I have $80 in my hand. Each one of you guys is given $20. And you guys are going to go up to the store and buy an outfit for $20. So, use your budgeting skill and bring back everything very fashionable. Welcome back guys. Now we're going to take a quick look at what the girls bought with their $20 budget. We had them go on the street and pick an outfit out with $20 limit. So let's see what they brought back. First up, let's see what Jamira bought. Hi Jamira. Hi. So, you were given $20 to go and find an outfit. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your outfit. So I got this, um, this dress. It's like a going out dress, nightclub type of look. Um, this dress was $7.50. And I got this cute ring to match with it for um, 150 or 125 it was. Yeah, and I was kind of going for a going out kind of look, fancy. I was trying to keep it as a fashion statement. You know, nowadays girls want to come in the club and make a statement. Like, so this is your statement? Yeah. And what statement is that? Um, I like the see-through parts. It shows a little bit more skin, you know, more sexier, appealing. And the tight dress, so, and the colors. So you're going for the more chic kind of... Mm, what would I say? Chic, tight fitted, sexy kind of look? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that's what you need in the nightclubs. Girls that have bodies to show this type of stuff. So, this is your night outfit, is yeah. what you're saying? Cool. And you spent how much? Um, $9. Wow, $9. And this is what she got. Pretty good. Yeah. Job well done. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, we have Spitzlana. Okay, so you were given $20 and you had to buy an outfit with the $20. So tell me about your outfit. I bought both a shirt and those shorts uh, for $14. And uh, the shirt was $7.50 and the shorts I believe were six. six. Nice. So where would you wear this outfit? It's definitely a club outfit. Uh, uh, basically, I love, I'm a huge fan of corsets, so I love how they define the shape. That's why yeah, I got this. Yeah, I like corsets and too. <laughs> them and uh, I have the shorts so it's summer so that I don't die in the club. Yeah well it's a nice choice. Thank you. Okay thank you. Next up we have a tour. Hey a tour. Hi. So you were given twenty dollars to buy an outfit. Tell us a little bit about your outfit. Um well this cost me seventeen dollars together. Seven fifty, seven fifty so I guess yeah ish. Anyways, um, I'm more of a casual kind of person. You can wear this to the club or to dinner, to whatever. So that's where you'd wear that, to the club yep. or dinner? So what kind of look would you say this is? Um, I don't know. Retro? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's me. It's, it's, the, at it's the a tour look. The a tour look, guys. Okay, well, job well done. Thank and you. you spent how much? $17. <laughs> nice. Well done. Next up, we have Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Hello. So, you were given $20 to shop with on a budget and buy an outfit. So, tell us a little bit about your outfit. Well, mine is like a day and night kind of outfit. Um, during the day, I have the sweater on and I guess you could wear it to a lunch or something like that. And then at night time, I can take off the sweater and go to the club or go to take the it off. dinner. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. Nice. So she got the sweater for the day look, and then she takes off her sweater. She's got the night look. So you say you're ready for the club? Yeah. <laughs> Job well done. And how much did you spend? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. You got all this for twelve dollars? Yes. <laughs> wow. 
I couldn't even do that. All right, thank you. So now there you have it. There's a look at all the girls outfits that they got with $20 budget. They even had change left over. Like, how does that work? Anyways, now let's take it to the deliberation and see which lady is going to be cut. We just finished our challenge. It was a lot of fun. We went shopping. Of course, that's every girl's uh, passion, I guess. We love to shop. And it wasn't that hard, actually, to find um, an outfit for $20. Um, from this challenge, if I, were to, if I was supposed to vote someone off, at this point, it doesn't really matter who I say because they're all going to be gone anyways because I'm going to win it. So it doesn't matter. All of them are gone. So we just finished the shopping challenge. Um, I'm kind of upset at myself. I thought I could have done a lot better than what I did. Uh, I just didn't get a chance to go hit all the other stores before going back to actually buy stuff. But whatever. I mean, it is what it is. And this is still really, really me. So it's all good. Um, as far as eliminating someone, um, I, it's so hard to say this right now, like I love all the girls a lot, but I'm going to have to say Svetlana. Um, I just think that she's the only odd one out, uh, just because we're a lot, all of us are pretty similar, and she's the only one that's really, really different, right? I mean, that could work in her advantage for anything else, but I just think this challenge, uh, that's what I'm going to have to say, and I'm just sticking to that. Hey guys, so we just wrapped up for a challenge, and um, I'm just going to tell you guys a couple of things about what I thought was a challenge in the challenge and what went okay so um in a challenge as you guys know we had to pick out an outfit for in a budget of twenty dollars and i got this this dress and this ring for nine dollars i think um i did a pretty good job getting this outfit together because i think it's like hot like it's a dress so you know you don't even need a bottom so that made it easier for the budget for me um, the hard part was trying to look to see like sizes and like colors and fashion statements and what would look good on me and what won't because most of the time you see as girls like we see stuff and it looks bad on the rack but when we put it on it's gorgeous and that's kind of like what happened with this dress but yeah the budgeting was good like um, the ring was 125 so you no know, it's really cheap so um, I can if there's one person that could get cut, I, I'm gonna say it's the mom. Um, it's not because I don't like her, I love her. She's a sweet girl, like, she's the sweetest girl you can ever meet. The personality is there, but you know, sometimes in the industry, that's not the kind of look that you want. I'm not saying anything wrong, but like, there's just certain looks that the industry wants right now, right? So, no offense, but that's just my personal opinion, and you know what? I don't feel that she should be let down by this um, comment, but yeah. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm just back from the shopping challenge and it was, I think, one of the most challenging tasks in this entire season for me because I actually don't shop as fast. We were given just half an hour and in half an hour I just get into shopping mood and pick a store which I would like to walk into. And so this was ex extremely, extremely stressful for me. I didn't go safe at all. Um, the store had extra small and small sizes, which is not what I wear. So, I, when I bought those outfits, I thought that I, I was totally prepared to just uh, take the scissors and cut it up and put the pins in and so that I have something to show in uh, for the judging. Um, okay, and if, if I had to cut somebody, so one more thing. I actually, re um, I really like the outfit that Jamara picked out and I think mine is really good. I don't like as much the, out the other outfits. But Jamara's, I think, is more behind. She looks amazing. Okay. Uh, if I were to pick somebody to uh, go right now, I think that would be Jamara because she is very, very young. I know she's shown a lot of improvement. She's going to achieve so much, but I don't think right now she is at the level that we are at. So I, if I had to pick, I would pick Jamara. Okay, girls. So. Me and Master Photographer Frank had deliberated on your challenge, which was you guys are giving $20 to shop for an outfit. And so, Whitney, your outfit, I have to say, was the best out of the bunch. Yeah. So you are safe from elimination. <laughs> what I liked about your look is it's classy, very sexy, and I like the fact that you thought about daytime and nighttime look. And three, very, pie and three pieces. Yeah. Very sharp, very sharp. You can change it up into anything you want, but three pieces for that price, very, very good. Thank you. And Job as, a well done. as a photographer, I'd love to shoot you in that outfit because 
I can have options. I can take off the top part, set swing it, it around. <laughs> the whole setup is really easy. She said so we yeah. can set it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we will. <laughs> but but great choice. Colors, perfect. Thank you. Fitzana, your outfit is, it's all right. Not something I would wear, but uh, for the nighttime look for a club, I'd say it's okay. Jamara, okay. A dress is not really an outfit. An outfit consists of two pieces, a top and a bottom. So that kind of puts you on the back burner for the rest of the girls. But it is a nice dress and it is a great cup look. So job well done with that. A tour. I would more say I'd wear yours more like on the street, like more of a day wear. It's not bad, but it's okay. So with that being said, me and mass photographer Frank deliberated and I'm sorry, but unfortunately, Jamira, you've been cut. So I'm going to have to ask you to get your things and leave the studio. Everybody else follow me. Everybody else, you have survived the cut. Hey guys, as you guys know, I've just been cut. Oh wow. Uh, I'm sad to leave all of them, like a tour, Svetlana and Whitney. They're such beautiful girls. I love them all, you know. They were such great people working with. It was almost like I was working with my family at one point because we got so close and the bond was so strong. I'm very sad that I'm leaving because now I have to leave the camera people and Charlene and all these people here. It's kind of sad, but you know what? My career is just beginning. I'm very young and I'm just letting you guys know that you guys will hear of me again. I'm pretty sure of that. And if I don't, I'll cut off my arms and my legs. <laughs> so Jamara has been cut. Jamara, I'm very sorry to say that you had to be cut. Unfortunately, the modeling industry is a very cutthroat industry. Stay positive. This is not the end of the road for you. You have a lot of potential and I'd love to see you somewhere else one day. Take care. Bye.